And welcome back to Nine on Your Side. Ohio's auditors weighing in now on the Gang of Five text message scandal involving some Cincinnati City Council members. He also tells the Nine on Your Side I team his office is going to pay special attention when the city's next annual financial audit starts July 1st. Auditor Keith Faber tells, says, tells, tells the I team he will work to determine if PG Sittenfeld, Chris Seelbach, Wendell Young, Tamaya Denard, and Greg Lansman were acting outside of their official capacity and racking up expenses when they conducted city business last year via text messages with each other. And if that's the case, Faber says his office can issue a fine for it and recover that money for taxpayers. He also has some strong words for the Gang of Five. Shame on you. They knew better. Uh, and if they didn't know better, they need to be going to their public records training programs. Uh, we are asking right now whether or not all of those folks have completed their public records and uh, sunshine training that's required of all elected officials. Uh, if they did, they didn't pay attention during it. Faber also tells us the public should care about this because business concerning the public should be conducted in public and not in secret. We've reached out to the city to ask if the Gang of Five has completed that required Sunshine Law training that Faber mentioned. We're still waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, today, Auditor Faber released a new financial audit for the city of Cincinnati, and the findings are generally positive. However, the auditor tells investigative reporter Hillary Lake he does have some concerns, among them overtime pay in several city departments, which include public works, fire, and police departments. I have significant management concerns. Uh, look, just as somebody who manages people, you need to ask the question why you have one employee who has 100 and, I think it's $108,000 in overtime. How is that employee with that much overtime able to be ready to do their ordinary job during their work week? Um, that seems to be a management uh, failure. In December, former auditor Dave Yo sent a management letter to city officials outlining some of the overtime concerns regarding police. Those include not having a clear policy about earning overtime on the same day as vacation or comp time is taken and inadequate inaccuracies that is between what the police department reported in its own audits and what payroll records show. So late this afternoon, the city released a statement saying, quote, CPD is taking an active approach to minimizing overtime whenever possible. Commanders are being held accountable for discrepancies and overtime use for personnel under their command.